Master the Art of Spoonerisms, a playful twist to English words. Hello everyone! Welcome to another exciting video in our Learning English, Listening and Speaking Skills series. Today, we'll dive into the fun world of spoonerisms, an interesting form of wordplay that's often used in jokes and storytelling. If you've always wondered how to create your own spoonerisms, then this video is for you. Before we get into the how-tos, let's first understand what a spoonerism is. A spoonerism is a playful swap of the first sounds of two or more words, often creating a humorous or quirky phrase. Named after Rev. W. A. Spooner, known for his entertaining linguistic mix-ups, this technique can add a fun twist to your language. For example, you have hissed all my mystery lectures, and were caught fighting a liar in the quad, instead of, you have missed all my history lectures, and were caught lighting a fire in the quad. Creating a spoonerism is all about swapping sounds. Here are some easy steps to guide you. 1. Identify your phrase. Choose a pair of words or a phrase. For instance, it's raining cats and dogs. 2. Locate the initial sounds. Identify the beginning sounds or syllables of the words you plan to swap. In our example, the sounds are R in raining and K in cats. 3. Make the switch. Swap the initial sounds of the two words. It's raining cats and dogs becomes it's caning rats and dogs. The key to a good spoonerism is picking words that still make sense when their initial sounds are swapped. Some practice will make you perfect. Now that you know how to create a spoonerism, it's time for practice. Let's try a few together. 1. A well-boiled icicle, instead of, a well-oiled bicycle. 2. Runny babbit, instead of, bunny rabbit. 3. Tease my ears, instead of, ease my tears. Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. Creating spoonerisms is not just a fun exercise, but a great way to enhance your listening and speaking skills in English. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I can't wait to see the spoonerisms you come up with. Stay tuned for more exciting topics in our Learning English series. Happy learning, and until next time.